Good morning and welcome to uh, the west coast of sunny Florida. If you know anything about geography, you'll know why I'm on the west coast. There's only one reason really. Well, I guess there's two. Freedom Factory or Craft Sports. And we are sitting perpendicular to Craft Sports right now because um, I made a car purchase. Also, you'll notice I'm in the 450. This trip down to Florida was the first time I ever drove the F450 Dually with a trailer. And I don't mean like first time I ever drove far the first time I ever drove the vehicle outside of my parking lot because I did park it one time but uh pretty pretty crazy experience um 1300 miles it took me about two hours to get used to it if you're a, a truck boy and you drive a dually every day hats off to you it is not the most fun thing to drive I've always avoided it but realistically there's not another vehicle that can do what this thing does getting 12.5 miles per gallon while towing a big aluminum insulated monster trailer anyway uh, you'll also know I've been saying, oh, I want to get a 34, I'm not going to buy anything. I gave up my dreams. Not because it really was my dream. I think I was getting a 34 be for you guys and not for myself. Um, truthfully, I like the 33 more. Having had the Midnight Purple 234, being able to look at it, sit in it, feel it, touch it, uh, rub up against it, I, and then having all the 33s and having owned a 33 in the past and I just really, and also being a parts boy, I just really prefer the 33. I prefer the era. I prefer the parts that are out for it. I prefer the look of the car. It just screams 90s JDM. So I made a move and I purchased, um, I'd say one of the more rare color 33 GTRs. And you you're gonna see it today, here, now. And you could tell me what you guys think in the comments. Uh, one thing I will say, love craft sport, love the Japanese coming to the U.S. and doing their thing. Do not love the process of purchasing from them. It's this weird, uncomfortable pressure that they don't put pressure on you, but you feel pressure because you can't put a deposit. And, you know, you're 1,300 miles away. you got to fly in. <laughs> Look who's calling. If you fly in. Hold, hold on one second, hold up. If you fly in, you don't like the car, you just wasted a bunch of time, uh, and you have to buy it beforehand. So hopefully they get that in line and figure that out, just because I'd like to put a deposit, fly in, and if I hate it, even if they keep the deposit, it's a better situation. So I'm gonna go inside, and you, we're gonna see my 33 for the first time together because I've never seen it. Okay. We're inside, this place is like a doctor's office, and uh, you wanna introduce yourself? Hi, my name is Kaz. I'm with Craft Sports. Uh, I can introduce you to my boss here in a little yeah. bit. We'll go about it that way. That's cool. How do you? What do you do here? You're just salesman. I'm sales, and I also speak Japanese fluently. So right. To translate between that helps. customers and yep, yep. That helps a lot. So here's the car, and uh, this is my first time seeing it. I'm gonna stay five feet away in the beginning, and then I'll work my way in. Black is just so good. I love it. It's so not common. Just had to turn the music off for YouTube not to. Demonetize a video. Black is just so good. Dang. So this thing's sick. It's cool to see. It's in really good shape. The only thing I was concerned about was the area right here. I'm not sure what's going on, but it looks like either some fading or something. I'm going to replace this trim, and when doing so, we'll be able to address that, and maybe the detailer will get to it. My number one goal is to not have to paint a car, and I... Th that was the whole reason I bought this one. I don't really need to paint it. I can leave it like looking a little battle battle hardened and not be upset, but it really doesn't even doesn't even look that way. Yeah, it really changes when you finally get to see it in person. Somebody definitely tracked this car. Having the NTO3s and the Aragostas in Japan, like <laughs> and then the ride height, somebody definitely uh did some weekend warrior shit with it. It's really cool. So the car has the Nismo Waldina. My other 33 had the Nismo Waldina. Really weird, because you don't see them on cars that often, but uh, I've seen a lot of 33 specifically with that exhaust. I just can't get over it, this is mine. If you remember, I bought the Midnight Purple one, um, and it was just the wrong time, and I, I really didn't like the purple. You know, once Dustin Williams got, actually I got mine, I got mine before him, but received it after. I'm just kidding, it has nothing to do with Dustin Williams. Midnight Purple is cool. This car is really, really cool, but 
I think uh, I think I'm happier with the black. I purchased these side skirts already, so these are the 400 R skirts. Um, you'll notice they stick out further, they stick down further, and they have this little vent. They are they are ABS plastic. They have a door piece that goes onto the door um, to finish the look. I think they make the car look a little tougher. This is a 400 R bumper, which I also purchased, which we'll get into later. But I did a Series 3 lip instead of the fiberglass 400 R lip. So the bumper is fiberglass. The, the original lip is fiberglass. I did a urethane lip, fiberglass bumper. Side skirts are ABS. And I am really undecided on the rear bumper. This is the 400 R rear. See, it comes out, sticks out a bit further, wraps around, looks a little more body kit, looks a little more JGTC, kind of like the 33 JGTC kit. I love the gold emblems on this car. Yeah. This car is super cool. He needs to dial that ride height a little bit. Yeah, I think it's, it's ready not. to jump some curbs. <laughs> and like, honestly, just to give everyone an idea home, I'll try to brighten it up. Midnight Purple, <laughs> If you're not really looking, it's just black. Yeah, it just looks black. It, hides. it, it looks no black. different than, than this kind of, you know? So I purchased all the trim for it. This is always a must with 32 and 33s is to get rid of this nasty trim. To do something about all the speakers someone added. Purchase new windows, which is how you get this trim. This trim's in actually really good shape. And this one's got some marks in it. I, I have these already. Hey, you wanna open it? Pop the, uh, as well. Yeah, pop the hood. NTO3s, Air Gostas, Nismo Weldina exhaust, some gauges in there. We're going to fix all that stuff. Um, and then a pretty standard bay with the Cusco uh, catch can. Somebody went to town with the uh, wire wheel on the plenum. Cusco master cylinder stopper. It's got a boost controller or just, yeah, it's definitely a boost controller. Does it have a power FC in it? It's got to have some ECU in it. Really clean strut towers, no issue there. Usually start to see them rust here if they are, and this one's really good. Have you guys had any that were bad, or no, you just no, it's, oh it's, you just know it? So I have only worked here, and this is the only place that I've really gotten the chance to really get acquainted with these cars. Right. And with that being said, I've gotten a lot of customers that really want to look at those strut towers, but we haven't had a single one that has been in that condition. Right. So for me, it's really hard to because you don't know what to look I, for. They don't know what to look for in right. that sense. Um, and I can go only it, trust me. It's obvious when it's that's or if they've been replaced. It's pretty obvious This thing's so cool Black is just so like the only reason I bought this car and I think I said it to you already is because it's black I didn't want a 33 I wanted a 34 and then when this popped up I was kind of giving up because 33s are just getting Crazy. so hard to find I really wanted a series 3 but to be fair changing the headlights and some interior stuff not too too hard right, right. But uh, the black is what sold me on it. It's just so good. And it's so simple to match because it's just straight black. Yeah, yeah. The, they, they made them in GV1, which is the black pearl. Yes. And then KH3, which is like S14, S15 color. Yep, yep. So here it is, boys. Um, I'm going to do an inspection off camera and just look at the car, obviously. But this is already currently mine. There's nothing. Yeah, this, or, this original paint is really good. For a 96, it's like, it's pretty good. And you had a detailer come detail all your cars? Yep, we have a, we have a mobile detailer that comes on as soon as we get the shipment in. These wheels are taking so much away from the car being like dirty. The 270R was the same thing. Yeah, Had some ratty white wheels. And they just wouldn't come off. Yeah. We, uh, we worked on those wheels for a good bit. So. <laughs> Seat's in really good shape. What's the mileage, 77? 78. Yeah, that's pretty low. Pretty cool. This is a pretty cool car. I'm stoked, like interior looks really good. Oh, so the Series 2, they changed that. The uh, the material on it. Yeah, it's like textured instead yeah, of like yeah, the yeah. stuff. That's cool, I was curious like what all the changes were to the Series 2, um, the biggest one being that interior. That's huge, because if you look at the other stuff, it like chips away kind of, right? It's like, um... Uh, what I've seen is almost like the like a clear of it is like peeling. yeah it's like a clear coat it, it almost looks like a vinyl peeling yeah, or something yeah, that's the best way, yeah. or like plastic yeah, dip kind of yep, yeah. <laughs> it's weird but this has the textured which is a huge upgrade you'll you will notice some d stuff drilled into the dash don't worry I've got another dash for the car <laughs> luckily yeah this interior is good and all your cars always smell the same here yeah it's got that it's that like a Japanese 90s, yeah 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 
yeah. Super yeah. weird. Yep. <laughs> yeah, this is cool. Steering wheel's in really good shape. I love this wheel too. I wouldn't keep it in here, but I I like it. <laughs> Yeah, the, the 96 wheel looks a lot nicer than the, the yeah. driver. You get the giant airbag on it. Does the 96, do they all have airbags? 96 passenger airbags. The 95 was an option, so if right. you looked at my boss's car, he had the optional passenger airbag. So my 93 GTST has it. Oh, okay. Which I think is weird. So let's take a break from this quick and look at the other 33s. See, these spats, I think, are, I don't know. I don't know. What, what color is this? Midnight purple? It really looks KN6, kind of. <laughs> Have you guys had a KN6? Uh, we... It's like a purple gray. Not yet. There may have been one before. No, I don't think so. Not yet. This car's really clean. What was the price on this one? So we are asking 180 to 200,000. Holy. It has 38,000 kilometers, and it is all original down the radio. Wow. That is a lot of money, but... That RM Sotheby's car set the set the market, and I haven't seen one sell anywhere near it since then. It's, yeah, it that was, was a weird scenario. Two thirty-five, I think. Two thirty-five or two forty-five, yeah. Really weird scenario. So one eighty-two. So why the range? Uh, we're just trying to. We're not in any rush to get rid of it. Right. We're just trying to, you know, kind of figure out where the market is. And like I said, this is such a cool car to have in the showroom. You right. Yeah, it doesn't bother you. All original like this. So the trim's in really good shape. And that's how that's like the dead giveaway with the mileage. Even if it's sat outside, for some reason when you drive them, the trim looks like shit. If you left this car outside, the trim would look weathered like it does. But uh it you know, it doesn't shrink and do all that stuff. This car's sick. Wow. Is the engine bay just insane on it? Just it's so it's not like the, the same issues that you see with the 32 and 33s where the intake manifolds just start yeah, to Yeah, it's just, it's, it's just, it just heat that yeah, does it, I think. Heat, yeah, This is weird that you guys have this flat black one. I was, uh, when I heard Matt, I was very skeptical. Yeah. It's done very, very well. It's painted. The original color was the black, so the engine oh, okay. was black and everything. It's and if you didn't black. like it, it wouldn't be hard just to paint it yeah, black no, again. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's strange. Somebody was super under the radar with this thing. So, I'm gonna go uh, acquaint myself with the 33, but before I do that, I just gotta say one last thing. There's a TH1, which anyone who knows, we have two of these in the shop. Super special color. How much is this car? Uh, 85,995. Okay. Is there something special about a low mileage? Uh, it's got 89,000 kilometers. It looks clean. It is very, very clean. Trim is super clean. Very, very clean. I don't know if you can get the, the seat, the passenger seat. It is still just uh, it's kind of hard just to tell. brand new. It's just black, yeah. Wow. TH1's cool. If you're looking for a TH1, good luck finding that. That and uh, AH3 are just so hard to find. White and gray, you could see all day. Black, a little bit more rare. But uh, the TH1 and the AH3, and then BL0, obviously the rares. This car. I remember when I was here looking at this, this thing was. It got me uh, excited for mine to come, and then I ended up selling it. I, just, I love the way it looks. Yeah. It really adds like just a, a nice extra dimension of like really aggressive look to it. I don't know. Something about that front bumper though. It looks too, or not the bumper, the, the lip. The lip throws me, that with a Series 3 lip looks so good. I have seen that too and I do like it's that. It's so yeah. good. And it's like indestructible because the urethane instead of the fiberglass. But this looks cool just sitting in here. And it's cool to see the whole kit minus the flares in one place. Yes, you don't see that. No, you, don't you never do. Together. And then you know, like the small addition with like the gold badging and stuff like that. The hell was that? The uh, the skirts. I'm really happy that I got to see those in person, and like I would love to see it next to another 32, 33. But you can just tell how much daintier these are. They don't stick out, and they don't go down as low. They kind of just follow the contours of the body. Yeah, it actually even curves in there right here. So anyway, I'm gonna go check out the car, and then uh, we'll pick it back up. And I really want to look at that Evo 4 RS you got too. I'm a big Evo guy. Big Evo guy buying GTRs. <laughs> so I've just been going over everything, looking at all the cars and keep coming back to my 33. I feel some type of way about this car different than my Midnight Purple. I couldn't explain it to you. I'm excited about this car. My Midnight Purple car I was just kind of like going through the paces and buying a 33. I am stoked on owning a black 33 
And I love the fact that you just don't, wow, sorry about that. Don't know how I did that. Just don't see them. Um, big changes, I'll, I'll go over quickly what I have. Ordered a 400R bumper, Series 3 lip, 400R skirts, uh, spats, N1 double carbon wing blade. So it replaces just the blade with one and then another. I've got Greddy brakes. I've got some wheels that are to be determined. I've got two sets. You just saw the CEs and I've owned OGTEs. Kind of leaning towards CEs, just do something different and I love them. Um, I've got an N1 hood lip, uh, Gander doors, and I've got some interior changes. I've got Nismo arms and I've got some engine stuff and turbo stuff. So I don't know if I want to say this out loud. I've got a lot, maybe everything for the build minus a few little details. Um, I don't know when it's gonna go down. My goal is to get the car somewhat presentable for ours day or ours meeting in California. If the boys wanna go, I'll have a car if my 32 doesn't make it. And right now, I'm not really off track. Coming down here for a couple days took me off track, but I'm still, it's not that much work. I hate to say it like that. Once you stack all the parts and plan it correctly, it's really not bad to build one of these cars. Um, I can assemble, Josh and I can assemble a car probably five, six days if everything's perfect and the car's painted and I'm replacing everything. The biggest thing is when you have to work around stuff, um, I'm gonna build whole subframes and just throw them in and then do the detail work. So anyway, back to this car. I just, I wish Filmer was here to film it because he'd get all the good shots, but I think you guys can just see this is a really good car with the only exception in the body of something going on here, some fading, or maybe there's something on the paint. We will find out. I'll take this whole window out. I'll replace this whole window, which replaces the trim. While it's out, we'll be able to detail right up to the edge. I'm going to replace this trim, which I have. Um, and I'm going to replace the lower door trim here. Gander doors. These are almost impossible to get. I'll do a windshield trim. And that's really it. There's one little burn mark there I'm unsure of uh, but I'm painting the bumper and the side skirts and it's just KH3 just straight black if I have to paint the hood I'll paint the hood that doesn't really bother me I might just leave that till the hood gets all peppered with rock chips for me doing 200 um, I'm stoked if you can't tell I'm just taking it in this like I said this was kind of a last minute purchase I saw it Thursday pulled the trigger and now I'm here you know what is that? It's five days later, four days later. So, oh, uh, I hate the wheels. They look cool. They look like period. It'll be cool to just throw on the shelf or use to roll cars around, but these are not lifers for this car whatsoever. Put in the comments now if you want to see CEs or Ts on the car. We got something else right here, a little, little touch up area. Um, if you want to see the OG Ts or CEs, we'll get a vote going. Put it, just put T or C right now. So we actually have been what? getting in, yeah. <laughs> Does that come with it? For, for, yep, comes That's with it. awesome. Comes with it. So, so this is the original play from so when it was in Japan. So prior to being yeah. brought, back, brought over from Japan. So that's why it's got the uh, the legal giant holes drilled into Oh, it. they do that so you can't ever so reapply can't it. it. Yep, yep, yep. Is this a special plate? This is a special plate. ナンバープレートじゃなくて、そこから一回うちのそのグンマのに変えてます。グンマっていうナンバーで、そのグンマって変えるときに私がとまあ三三GTRなんで三十三っていう希望の番号を申請してはいはいはいはいはいとったそう
認識的に一緒だっていうんで最近群馬ナンバーなんかも知られるようになったのかなって個人的には思うけど最初のファーストステージだと。So he's saying with the first stage of the initial D that was really really popular even in Japan too of course but because of those original cars like the red sons and stuff had the guma plate he's thinking guma has gotten more known in terms of right. plates yeah. so having the guma plate with the 33 with the 33 is, is pretty gangster yeah, gangster that's pretty yeah, sick yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And, and the original, the main location of Crossports is based in Guma. Oh, okay. So that, that is the reason why it's in Guma. But That's it also awesome. adds a little specialty to that. That's so cool. From the records that he's looking at, he can say for sure that he believes it's been at three, but it could be more. But okay. Why is it that the first one was registered in Guma? So the vehicle was first registered in Nissan Prince Tama. Nissan Prince Tama, which is in Tokyo. Tokyo. Tokyo no stoga shinsha de k o n u s h i m a s t a t i u n o k o n o hosh maintenance no. So a person in Tokyo bought it originally. The first person, yeah. The first person, yeah. De, tsugi ni, osonaku nan da kere domo, toto sono kan no, komakai bubun tiu no ga nakatan de. Ka, ah, so da na, sono kan ga, juji de, juji. So he was saying it's, it was difficult because there isn't too much records in between that.、Mm-hmm. But what he is looking into right now is. So, the record is a little bit of 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 And so you can add like your maintenance and different records. Tokyo Prince, Tokyo Prince, Nissan Prince Tokyo, to you know, the two cars that the car was in the car was in the car. So this maintenance book is something that you could purchase when you were buying a, a used vehicle from Nissan Prince. You could then、okay. buy this book separately so that way you can keep your own records. Okay. And so at that time, So that wouldn't be given to you as a brand new vehicle, so it would be purchased when you get it as a used Okay,、vehicle. so that could have been the second owner. So the second, right.、Mm-hmm. And then it went to a third, and then possibly c r a f t s w o r k on it. So at that time, in 2013 or 2001, then in 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 2001, 栃木の人が栃木ナンバーで買ってるの日産プリンス東京から。So in 2001, somebody with a 栃木 number plate purchased it through, uh, through uh, Nissan Prince. Okay. で、栃木工場からこのナンバーを買っているんだけれども、おそらく。So these don't have names, they have the license plate on it. We cut out the names. Oh, the it, oh yep, yep, okay. Yep, which is why the, the boxes that you see. Right, I was wondering yep, about yep, this. Yep, yep. So we, That's we, a pretty we crazy thing to do so cleanly. <laughs> <laughs> nice razors. Yeah. The Osora Kokoa, Tochigi Kojo, and Tokyo Nanda Kedomo, Kode, Tochigi no Stoni, Tochigi no Dira no Tenke n i k a w a So from a Tochigi from the Eto Prince Nizu Yonenda Kara, Prince Nizu Yonen. The Kokono Kan Kara. この間がどうだったかがわからないんだけれども、ここからは栃木の人が乗ってるんだよ。ずっと,と栃木の。So the records jumped a little bit, but from this point on, it was someone in Tochigi that was driving it the whole way through. ただこの平成26年。And then in 平成26に、宇都宮の同じ栃木なんだけど、511っていうナンバー。あここまでが多分同じ人で51126年までが一緒の人でこの次になると1919ってナンバーに切り替わるんだ。So、the plate then changes from in Heisei 26 I'm stoked on this. 2001年から2014年までがこの人だったと思うんだよ。So、from 2001 to 2014, he believes this was the owner.、Mm-hmm. And then. で、次にこの、うん、と
2028年だから2016年か2016年からずっとこの19っていうナンバーが来るんですでこの人からうちどもが買ってると。And then we purchased it from this customer. In what year? あで何,年何年に買ったんですか、うん、僕たちはこの人が平成と2年なこれは最近だからこれは買い取ってもすぐの便にほぼ乗せてるんでああここ新しい最近のも車買い取ってああはいはいはい So it was purchased very very recently he said、oh, okay. So it was purchased and then brought over almost immediately, immediately. Cool Okay so it's my time to go I、uh, left my truck and trailer here I got in Turo of an X1 because I'm here with the family It's gonna be tough to leave this thing. I, I wish I brought my dealer plate and just mobbed this thing around, but I didn't. Hope you guys are stoked on this thing. We've got kind of some big stuff now happening in the beginning of April, so I gotta get this car done ASAP. And the first step is bringing it home. I'm gonna end the video here. If you're looking for a 32, especially, they've got plenty of them here. Go check them out. Check out their website. They didn't sponsor or partner. They're, this is a cool shop, so I figure we'll give them a little shout out. Craft Sports.、Um, and Let's give him a thank you for hooking me up with one of the cooler color R33s. I'll see you guys tomorrow.